Hello everyone, it's Cheryl. I have a CVS haul for you. I went to CVS. My power went on the day the day after the storm or in the middle of the night of the storm. I can't remember. And the power just went on at my daughter's house um, yesterday. So, she, uh, yesterday evening. So she was one of the last people to get their power back on. So my my daughter, my her husband, my two grandchildren have been here for a few days, which we had a good time. The AC was on. Netflix worked. The internet was fine. So we spent a lot of time together doing things, hanging out, playing cards. Um, and we went to Walmart yesterday. They opened at 5.30 at night. And we went to go get the kids. I promised them if they were good, I'd buy them new sheet sets. So, Alyssiana got the purple and pink girl minion sheets. And Michael wanted the boys. Every time that poor baby, every time he wants something, they sell out. So, they didn't have his. They only had hers. So, he picked Super Mario Brothers, I think. They had Paw Patrol, Spider-Man. He already has Batman. He already has... Um. They didn't have the Avenger ones. They didn't have the Minion ones. What else did they have? Paw Patrol, Spider-Man, Batman, something else. So anyway, that's not what this is about. So anyway, today I went to CVS. In my area, all the Walmarts, all the stores, at the grocery stores and everything, had to throw away so much food because there was no refrigeration. So CVS was open but their refrigeration section, like the pizzas and and milk and eggs and bacon and all that stuff was gone. Looks so weird when you walk into a store and there's no nothing. Walmart had no produce, no banana. Only thing they had left was bananas. They had no apples, oranges, nothing out. No melons, no nothing. Everything went in the trash because the store, I guess, the girl was saying was so hot that everything just like rotted. So anyway, I'll show you what I picked up at CVS. My first transaction, I bought the two acetaminophen, I mean Excedrin. My brain is not working, I'm so sorry. But, yeah, it has acetaminophen in it. They didn't have the migraine one. These were the last two, and they weren't even in the area where it was. But these were a good deal. They were two for 20, and they're usually... I think eleven ninety nine. Yeah, they're usually eleven ninety nine, but ten dollars each. And then I had two one dollar off manufacturer coupons. And then I had an eight dollar extra buck from last week, a four dollar extra buck from last week, and a two dollar pain reliever coupon on my card. So before coupons, it was twenty dollars. After coupons, it came to four dollars, and then. Um, a dollar twenty six in tax, so I paid five dollars and twenty six cents for both of these, and then I had gotten back ten dollars, but I used it in my second transaction. But it says that I saved eighty three percent, which is nineteen dollars and ninety eight cents. So I thought that was a really really good deal for the two one hundred count extra strength Excedrin, and they don't expire until February of 2000 and what is it 2018 same thing with this one February 2018 so I got 200 extra strength Excedrin um, aspirin basically for five dollars and twenty six cents then I had gotten back ten dollars and then I'll show you what I bought with that so I did the Listerine deal. These are $4.99. So it's spend 10, get back 5. So you can do it twice. So if you spend 20, you'll get back 10. So these are $4.99 each. I like the green, the um the blue one, which is I'm have uh, a cool mint. They have blue and they have green. So I got the two and the blue the cool mint. Then I bought three of the Listerine Gentle Gum Care. I thought this would be good for the kids. So these were three dollars and how much are these? Three 
$3.79 a piece. And these were $4.99. So just over the $20, $20 mark for those. Then I did the soft soap. Figure I can give this to someone. Um, because I have so much soft soap and so much Bath and Body Works stuff that I need to get through. So I'll probably just give this to someone. So this was on sale from for a dollar eighty-eight, and then when you uh, scanned your card, you got a coupon making this eighty-eight cents. So that's why I picked that up. And then you didn't get any money back with these, but these are a good deal in my opinion. You get 16 cloths in each, and they are $3.39 a box. They're the Summer's Eve Sensitive um, Cleansing Cloths. They're pH balanced, dermatologist and gynecologist tested, and they're just little packets, like a little wipe that you can take with you and put in your purse when you have that not-so-fresh feeling, it says. So... Yeah. So I picked up two of these. They're buy one, get one free. $3.39 for two of them. And then there is in the paper, there's a 55 cents off each, making a dollar ten off of the $3.39, making these two dollars and twenty-nine cents for two boxes, which is a dollar, dollar fourteen, dollar fifteen a box. So here's what my receipt looks like. The soft soap, a dollar eighty-eight. The um, Summer's Eve 16 count wipe, $3.39, and then the second one is free, and it says free right there. Then the Listerine, um, the floss, $3.79, $3.79 again, $3.79 again. The two Listerine Cool Mint, there you go, 500 milliliters, $4.99. So I have one, two, three, four, five, one dollar off coupons that are on the Listerine. The two 55 cent coupons for the Summer's Eve. The $10 extra buck that I got when I bought the Excedrin. $5 beauty buck that I had on my card already. So I paid before tax it was $5.52 and $1.52 in tax. I paid $7.03 and then I got back a $10 registry reward for buying the the twenty dollars worth of Listerine products, and my limit on that is reached, and my limit on the Excedrin is reached, and I on this purchase I saved eighty two percent, or twenty five thirty eight. So in total, on both orders, out of pocket I paid twelve dollars and twenty nine cents. And two dollars and seventy-seven cents of it was tax. So I spent just about nine dollars before tax, and then I saved forty-four dollars and thirty-six cents using coupons, sales, and register rewards. And like I said, I got back ten dollars for next week. So all of this stuff right here, like I said, would have cost me. Forty-five thirty-six, but it only cost me twelve dollars and some odd cents. Twelve twenty-nine. These alone are eleven ninety-nine when they're not on sale. So this alone, with tax, would have cost more than all of this. So I thought that was really, really good deal. Good deal. Like I said, you don't get any money back, but I got 32 of these wipes for two and change. Um, I got the money back on this, the money back on this, and then this can go in my pile for the donation. It smells really nice. I just have a lot of other hand soap. So I'm really happy with what I purchased today. Um, I did get the five, no, three off of $15 cosmetic purchase, but I just ran in there. Um, my local town that I live in Rhode Island um, I went to four banks today to try to get cash money out and all of the banks different branches different um, names of the banks all of the banks had no money on the in the ATMs all the stores are taking cards again which for a while they weren't and the ATMs in my area are dry they're fresh out of money so tomorrow's Saturday 
Um, I'm thinking maybe in the morning they'll replenish some of the ATMs. If not, I have my card and that'll be fine. But we did plan on going on vacation. I was supposed to go to Cape Cod, Massachusetts, um, but the storm happened. Robert's family was fine. They live in Fall River. Fall River was fine. It was just Warwick, Cranston, Coventry, not really so much Providence, which is the capital city. It was all the suburbs. The only reason I believe that I had power is because I'm near the airport. So a lot of people, even on, like two blocks down from me, didn't have power when we did. Um, like I said, I think it's because I'm near the airport. But that is thankfully over. Everyone has power. Everyone has AC. And after that storm, it was so humid before, I didn't think it could get any worse. It was so much more humid after the rain had stopped and the storm had happened. And then there was no AC whatsoever. It was horrible. But we all made it through. My daughter had to go back with her husband. I had them go back on the first day and clear the refrigerator out. Because there's no, I knew it was going to be a couple days before they could go home. Thankfully, she went home and did that, her and her husband. So, um, they didn't have to go home to the rot smell. Yeah. Um, but so many people, so many people had lost power. And if you didn't have power and you only had a septic system, you couldn't flush your toilets. It was just, it was just so bad. So bad for a lot of people in my family. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope that you have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all later. Ciao!